Hello guys, another video from my car as every Friday, not that much about Laravel, but generally about career. But this time it will be with a few Laravel examples. So last week on this channel, in my last video from my car, I gave an advice that you can improve your chances of being hired if you learn external tools and APIs on top of Laravel. But the problem is how to choose, there are so many of them. So there's another side of the coin. If you try to adopt everything, all the latest tools that are released on the market, you would get really bombarded, distracted, overwhelmed, and that would not do any good because you will just not have enough time to get any good at any of those tools. And also, if you're active in Laravel community on Twitter, for example, you may see new tools coming pretty regularly, and there's a lot of hype about new tools, especially if the tool comes from active member of Laravel community because it gets retweeted and shared and kind of popular. But my advice here is don't get too fast trying to learn those new tools. Quite often, the hype is only at the beginning. Similar with frameworks or programming languages, it's worth learning them only after a year or so at least, when there's enough user base, tutorials, and demand from the market. And I can give you two examples from Laravel community. First, anyone remembers native PHP? So last summer, in 2023, it was released with a lot of hype that now we can create native desktop applications with PHP. It was so cool, with so many demos, with so many retweets and shares of how everyone is playing around with native PHP, seems to be kind of the new wave and potentially the future. Half a year later, now in February, native PHP, I wouldn't say is abandoned, but latest commits and pull requests are from August, with a few new things still coming, and Simon I've seen is working on that, or maybe by the time this video airs, it's released with new features. But even looking at the community activity, I've just Googled native PHP and tried to find some tweets. Latest, more or less active tweets is also from the summer last year. So everyone played around, cool. And then since nothing more was released, and since there's no real demand from the market, everyone kind of moved on with their lives, with exception of a few more personal experiments here and there. Now, I'm not saying native PHP is bad, but this is just an example of a really cool idea as a concept that just didn't grow into something really widely adopted. And another kind of counter example, a good example of a tool that has been adopted over the years is Best. I don't remember exactly when it was released, it seems like a few years ago. And there was also a big hype initially with some skepticism like why we need another testing framework when we have PHP unit. And that argument actually stays until this day. It's just more and more people slowly adopted PEST. With examples, with tutorials, with courses. And PEST itself has evolved with new features, new demonstrations by Nuno himself and wider community of Laravel. And now currently at the time of shooting this video, I'm not sure in Laravel 11, will it be the default framework or will the default stay PHP unit? Maybe by the time this video airs, we will already know the answer, I'm not sure. This is an example of a tool that grew into something bigger and then it makes sense to learn it or adopt it in your projects. So in other words, learn something that is already on the market in demand and in action. And one of the best indicators of that is actually reading the real job descriptions on websites like Indeed or Upwork or your local job boards or freelance job boards, whatever. What technologies, what frameworks, and what tools are mentioned in real jobs for real companies and real positions. So yeah, these are the thoughts learn tools and APIs on top of Laravel, but limit those to what is actually useful. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.